after deep pondering at the end of the last video, I've I guess I've decided that I I don't want to risk this corrupted world like sort of bugging anything in the future. So I'm probably going to abandon it. But we did come here with a set goal. Well, we did start this with a set goal, and that's because, and that goal was just to do the storyline. I then did part two, I built my capital ship, I got enough fuel, I went and found Sigma Fulcrum. Uh, it was a massive pain, a lot of issues with recording, hence why I didn't see a lot of it. But that, you essentially just meet Glad, which turns out to be your old, not crew, well I guess your old crew, all of the original survivors from the Heidelberg and the Titan and everyone else, they're essentially running glad, trying to sort of provoke grassroots rebellion in the Talon whilst nurturing uh, relations in the galaxy sort of thing. Essentially they're, they're trying to, they realise right, we're here, we're stuck. Might as well make the most of it and see if we can work out what's going on. So that's them. And sort of hung around their base for a while. And then we started Story Chapter 7. Which they need me to go on a little errand. They needed me to come to the pirate station. And retrieve an informant. Now. I did need to boost my faction rep up with them. To friendly. Now, I could have done that through missions, I could have done that through, uh, what do we call them, the, oh, the magic tokens that give you rep. Um, but seeing as I'm uh, essentially just trying to finish this up, uh, I use console commands just to put my rep up to friendly with them. It advises you to be at least neutral, but I guess friendly's better. But this is that pirate station. It's kind of bright in here. What are we shooting at? He's going to be shooting at me. Because they did say that... Even if I'm friendly with the pirates, there's like a group of pirates within them that just don't care either way. That will just. They might just attack you for shits and gigs. So. I just want to know what we're shooting at because I don't want my things to be shot. I want to come back to have just half my ship destroyed because there was just a rogue turret railing it. And now we've stopped, apparently. Oh, no, we've opened up with light machine gun fire. What is going on? I mean, they're technically Xerox, right? I didn't get any bad rep with pirates for doing that, did I? No. I don't know why there's just random Xerox here. Ooh. Why are we... I just don't understand what's going on. There's explosions and gunshots. So we 
What? Things are just... I'm, I'm just gonna find my contact and get out of here. What? I don't understand. Are these guys not on my side? What? I'm just hesitant to shoot anything because I'm not really trying to cause a fuss here, but there just seems to be a war going on. I, I don't know what is going on. But I was apparently shot by the station. What? I... Oh, I guess I shot a good one. So every time Yared came in here, apparently, he'd stare at that symbol. And play cards with you, and play poker with you, or blackjack, or summon. Yared. Oh good, so Yared's now highlighted. Right, we've got to fix your aim. Ooh, I'm trying with a gold core. Ooh, again. Good stuff. Doesn't sell though, but you can buy. Raw diamond. Let's buy one of those and see what that does. Yo, what up? So, uh, how do I summarize all of that? Polaris bought an artifact. The artifact produces a magical drug that the pirates, I guess, want to sell. But it all sort of just started happening. They didn't intend for it to happen. The, the station just started producing... I, I don't really know, but essentially this guy used to be the AI of the station while it was in Polaris hands or something. I, I really don't know. I'm probably just going to have put all of that text just sped up so you guys can read it if you're actually interested. But that hurt my brain trying to work that out. But I need to kill this dude. And now he's inside my AI. Uh, inside my suit. Stay low. Again, I'm just going to have put all that text in because I don't know how to summarize that, but 
we need to shut this station down ASAP and we are going to fiddle around with these. But apparently this, I think this thing in here is, is what's causing all the palaver. The, that's part of the specimen. for a red door. Now these guys, are these guys, yeah, these guys are going to shoot me. Fantastic. So I've got to destroy the core and I think it said one of these containers. There is another core. Might as well, they're already pissed. Ooh, advanced core. Well, as you can see, the exact thing that I was worried about happening, happened. The Galaxy One is all but destroyed. I mean, all I had to do was put another core in. But, yeah. <laughs> and they blew up my warp drive. Right, the truth of the matter is, is that tomorrow I'm going to be getting myself Valheim. And I am well aware that the moment I play that game, I will lose two weeks to it. And I really want to get the storyline done before that happens on this, so... We're literally now just going to breeze through, blast through all of the remaining parts of the storyline, just to see what's going on, what's going on. So, Yarod and Ida have integrated. You're not telling Glad about, I, uh, about Yarod because you're still mildly sus. So coincidentally, the leader of GLAD, uh, Commander Lamar, uh, is, I think it's Lamar, Lama maybe, but they, they have gone missing. We've received a piece of file that they may be being interrogated by the Xerax, so we need to go on a rescue mission, mission. And coincidentally, Ida and Yara are like, hmm, that's also the place where the, uh, the, the mysterious void artifact came from, so... Yeah. 